Hi everyone, it's Michael. Today's video is all about mineral buildup. What it is, why it happens, and how to treat it. So we'll just jump in with the what. What mineral buildup is, is when we water our orchids in a semi-hydroponic container, we water with a dilute nutrient solution every single time. So that nutrient solution is composed of water and it's composed of minerals. So as the water wicks its way upward with the nutrients with it, the water will eventually evaporate once it hits open air. So that open air can occur right above your container or it can occur right in front of your drainage holes. Um, but as it goes through that process, the water will evaporate out of the system and some of the minerals will be left behind. That's just how it goes. But as those minerals start to compound upon themselves, they create a layer of mineral buildup. So that's exactly what it is. Now, why does it happen? Well, it happens for a few reasons. Um, one is that you're not properly pre-treating your LECA. So when you buy a brand new bag of LECA, it's covered in clay particles, it's covered in dust, and it's also filled with those things because it's a porous material. So it's so important, and this is a step that I used to skip when I was new to growing orchids because I was so excited to repot and just get it transplanted, but you have to allow those LECA beads to soak for a period of about 24 hours. And what that does is it's gonna loosen all that material from inside and from the outside and kind of allow the beads to be um, a fresh start for your orchids. Because otherwise you're bringing in all of those excess materials into your grow system, which just is not beneficial. The other reason is that dryness or rate of evaporation are high, causing the nutrients to migrate towards open air faster. So because I'm in Colorado, for example, and our climate is very dry, um, my rate of evaporation is gonna be higher because top layer is going to dry out and it's going to continue to pull water from the bottom. Doing that at a faster rate is going to yield higher mineral buildup faster. The third reason is that you're watering improperly. So I can't emphasize this enough. You guys, you can't just top off your water reservoir with your fertilizer solution. That's not how semi-hydroponics is designed to work um, because it's a self-flushing system. The nutrients are always going to migrate towards open air. Uh, that's just a given, but that's why it's so important for you to rapidly fill your container and then allow it to drain because in the process of doing that you're going to effectively Redissolve all of the minerals that have separated out from the water and flush them through the system That's why you don't just top off the reservoir. You really do have to give the system a good flush and The last reason is that um, the concentration of nutrients is too high or your water is too hard um, Again, please reference my uh, mini series on pH, T TDS, and water type. But if your water is chock full of minerals, um, it's just like using five scoops of fertilizer every single time you water. It's just you're giving an excessive amount of minerals that your plant can't possibly metabolize. So it's going to have to go somewhere and it'll usually just end up building up in your LECA beads. So um, let's go ahead and look at some specific examples that exist in my collection. I pulled together an assortment of orchids from my collection that really showcase the varying degrees of mineral buildup. So working my way left to right, we'll start with number five. This is the Noid Phalaenopsis, and if I take you into the drainage holes, you can just see a few white specks. That is the onset of mineral buildup, and the same thing is happening up top. It's just a few hardly noteworthy white specks. Super easy to overlook. Now, if we move on to number 13 in my orchid collection, my Noid Phragmopedium, you can see it's compounded just a bit. If I take you into the drainage holes, you can see it's beginning to layer upon itself and cause this almost white crust. The same thing is happening in the left of the container where there is almost an individual ring of mineral buildup on each LECA bead. Finally, I'm gonna show you my, uh, this is number 10 in the collection, it's the Mother's Day Fowl. And if I bring you into the drainage holes, just look at that, that's gross. Um, that is a highly compounded mineral buildup and it is starting to form an actual thick layer around the beads and around the holes. So that can be really detrimental to root growth and development. If it comes in contact with that, it can cause toxicity issues. So it's something you definitely want to tend to. So let's do just that and get all of this LECA bead washed up. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the plants out, put them in individual containers, and then we're going to treat the LECA beads. So even though the intensity of the mineral buildup is different for each of those three orchids, I'm going to treat them all the exact same way, with water and with Epsom salt. So I've already made a video about how to boil and sanitize your LECA beads, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it one step further by adding one tablespoon of Epsom salt per gallon of water. And what this does is it's going to have fabulous leaching properties and it's going to help to kind of pull, loosen, and redissolve any of the materials that have built themselves onto your LECA pellets. So uh, let's go ahead and get that done. In the pot, I have all of my mineral rich LECA beads, one gallon of water, and I'm gonna go ahead and add one tablespoon, a level scoop of Epsom salt to the mix. 
right. Perfect. I'm going to bring this system to a boil. I'm going to let it stay boiling for about, I don't know, 10 minutes, and then I'm going to drain the beads. And that's pretty much it, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and allow the Lekka beads that I've just washed off to cool. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and repot my orchids, and hopefully they will be set up for a lot more success moving forward. Um, thank you so much for choosing to spend your time with me. Uh, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, feedback, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, I invite you to like, subscribe, or share if you found it useful. Thank you once again, guys. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye.